Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and I'm going to walk you through Lightroom for Android. This is Lightroom Mobile and it is now here. So a couple things you need first. First you need the app. You will also need an Adobe ID if you're going to sync all this stuff up and actually use it. So let's log in thusly. Uh, you just use your username and email. Same thing if you're using Creative Cloud now. It's the exact same process. So sign in, and this takes just a couple seconds, and we're going to sort of pretend this is the first time I've run the app. Um, I've got a couple collections in here already, but you know, for every phone you add this to, you can add a new collection, or you can add them manually if you want. And then it'll ask you if you want to sync up with uh, the pictures you already have on that phone, or if you just want to start taking them newly and uploading them that way. So you can choose to sync only over Wi-Fi, which I kind of recommend you do. Um, it'll collect usage data if you want. You've got a couple other options and you see down here it shows how much space I have left in my creative cloud storage. Uh, I think I have 20 gigabytes total. I've got 14 left over now. So let's see, here are all the images I've uploaded from this HCC one that I took, wow, almost a year ago, how about that? So let's play around with one a little bit and see what's going on. So here is a nice little picture of my daughter that I took. And let's see some of the basic editing we can do. Now this is Lightroom and one of the major, major features of Lightroom is organization of photos. So you can still star photos and you can flag them. So you can see you can pick, unflag or reject, simple to do. I will unflag that. However, we will star it because it's my daughter and she's cute and she deserves five stars. So again, one through five stars, right? This is all important because, well, we'll show you in a minute. Uh, you can do some basic adjustments. So I'm normally kind of an auto white balance guy and you see all these other manual adjustments you can do. And if you don't like them, you can always undo them later. Easy enough to do, just reset. And you can reset basic tones, reset everything, go back to import. We'll see more of that in a second. Let's just do auto white balance because that's kind of what I like doing and we'll do some auto toning here and just let Lightroom take care of it. So if you want to do some basic toning but not mess around with all the manual settings you can do that. And you see there it is. I have the histogram there as well if you're into that sort of thing. I just like seeing pretty colors. Uh, you've got a bunch of presets as well because that's another one of Lightroom's strengths and let's just do some sepia tone. Why not? And uh, how about some vignetting? So again you can play around with all this yourself. If you're familiar with Lightroom you're going to see a lot of this and it's going to be pretty familiar to you as well. And again, if you don't like it, you can reset it. You can reset all the way back to import and just get back to scratch. Now these are JPEGs. And a lot of the time in Lightroom, we're dealing with raw images. You see, I'll do some basic cropping here as well. Again, you don't need me to explain that to you probably. Uh, so these are JPEGs we're working with here on the phone. And we're actually gonna sync this back up to Lightroom desktop just through Creative Cloud, right? It's just syncing, period. So uh, we'll finish this cropping. So it's not quite one to one if you're doing, uh, you know, raw images on a desktop. You know, not quite the same when you're messing with JPEGs on a phone. I get that. Adobe gets that. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want to be doing raw images on your phone probably because it's just going to eat up a ton of space. Now they deal with that with some uh, interesting file types. Uh, you know, there'll be far more details from Adobe on that than I want to explain here. But here's the really cool part. You upload it back to Adobe, you just sync it, and I'm over here on my uh, Mac now, and watch this, just wait a second, and it's gonna, oh, look at that. So it, it translated those adjustments we made on the phone to the desktop. Now again, I'm used to working with RAWs on, uh, on the desktop side, so this is a little weird for me going back to JPEGs, but it translates all those adjustments I made on the phone in that collection, in that, you know, in that photo, in that collection, back to the desktop. So now I can come play with it here. If I want to, you know, adjust other things here, I can. I can change the exposure and the highlights and mess with the vignetting and, and really have some fun with it. So it lets you do things on the go while you're mobile. Um, it's phone only right now. Tablets, eventually they say, I really want to play with this on a tablet where I can actually see what I'm working with a little bit more and have some fun that way. Um, you know, relatively new version of Android. It's not going to run on the really old stuff, but that's not surprising to anyone. So that's it. You're going to need a Creative Cloud uh, subscription. They start at nine bucks. You know, the better ones are a little more expensive, but it's a lot of fun. Adobe Lightroom on Android, finally. See ya.